What you watching there? Ah, body systems. So which ones have you learned about? Ah, the muscular system, the skeletal system, the circulatory system, the nervous system, and so many more. It's wonderful that you know so much about your body. Oh, you enjoy music too. Did you know there is a body system that works just like the conductor or music director of this orchestra? It is this system of our body whose organs control and direct the other body systems. Well, it's called the endocrine system. Just as the different musicians in an orchestra need someone to tell them when, how, and what to play, so is it with the organs in our body. Our body organs also need someone to tell them what should be done at what time. Not that organ. Organs of our body need direction from a central control system. The endocrine system does this job. It is the central control system. So can you tell me what the name of this system is? Oh, no! It is the endocrine system. The endocrine system has many glands. These glands make hormones that control the functioning of other body systems. Oh, whoa, take it easy, my friend. I'll explain it to you in detail. You see, our body has many small organs, called glands. These glands together make up the endocrine system. Each gland has a special job. Let me introduce you to your glands. First, meet the pituitary gland, the boss of all endocrine glands. Then comes Mr. Thyroid, the growth agent. He is joined by his friends, the parathyroids. Right on top of your kidneys are the adrenal glands, the pancreas, in charge of your blood sugar levels, and the reproductive glands, testes in males, and ovaries in females. These glands send out hormones in our bodies. So tell me, what do these glands produce? Uh, not harmonium. These are hormones. Hormones are the messengers of our body. They move through the blood and carry the messages from the endocrine glands to all the other parts of our body. So what forms the main part of our endocrine system? And what do they produce to control and balance the other systems of our body? Wonderful. Did you know that each endocrine gland has a different job to do? Here is the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland in your brain is the master gland. It takes the instructions from your brain and produces hormones that control the other glands. It is also responsible for your growth, and yet, it's as small as a pea. Well, <laughs> that's another way of getting taller, I suppose. Another important gland you have is situated in your throat, the thyroid. Kind of looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? The thyroid helps the body make energy from food at just the right rate. It also produces hormones that help in the growth of bones, the brain, and the nervous systems of children. So it really is an important gland for kids. Mr. Thyroid has four tiny friends called parathyroids. These glands control the calcium level in your body. These sitting like crowns on top of your kidney are triangle-shaped adrenal glands. The adrenal glands produce hormones like adrenaline, that gives your body an extra boost in times of stress, like during an exam. Wow, you could use adrenaline in times like that. And lastly, let's talk about the pancreas. The pancreas makes the hormone insulin, which ensures a steady level of glucose in the blood. Not too much, not too little. You also have reproductive endocrine glands in your body that help you grow into a macho man or a lovely woman. <laughs> All right, enough of the daydreaming there. Each of these glands are critical to the proper functioning of your body. Do you remember them? The pituitary glands, the thyroid with parathyroids, the adrenal glands, the pancreas, and the reproductive glands. Superb! Do you know what's the best thing about the endocrine system? It's that it works day and night to keep the functions of your body in delicate balance. And yet, it all happens without us even thinking about it. The endocrine system is the silent conductor of the orchestra of our body. <laughs>